the heart inca incapacitates itself through immorality. And it capacitates itself through virtue. Virtue. Beauty is the splendor of truth. Beauty is the splendor of truth. Ugliness is the brand of evil. Beauty is the splendor of truth. This is the universal routing of beauty and creation. You have Al-Haq, the truth, and of course you know that one of the names of God is Al-Haq. He is the real. He is the ultimate reality. Do you know anything more real? Absolutely not. The world that you see, is this more real than God? No. He is the real. He is al haq and He is beautiful. Inna Allah jameelun yuhibbul jamal. God is beautiful and He loves beauty. And we understand by that, by mafhum al mukhalifa by understanding the contrary that's not spoken, that God does not love ugliness. And traditional Muslims did everything beautifully. They did. Isn't it true? You can even go to the museum and see it for yourself. When I was in Pakistan not long ago, I went to one of the national museums of Pakistan in Rawalpindi. It's a beautiful museum. And in it they collect all the cultures of Pakistan. Punjabi culture, um, you know, Balochi culture, Pashtun culture, uh, Christian culture. Hindu culture, everything that is there in Pakistan. Beautifully they collected it. And the woman who took us through the museum, who's a very amazing woman, she told me when we first went to the museum, this is a museum for the living, not for the dead. And I told her, I've never been introduced to a museum in a more enthusiastic and positive way. Because museums can be the death of a people. But all those cultures that were there were absolutely, incredibly beautiful. Like the cultures of your own land, like the cultures of other Muslim lands, everything that we did was beautiful. The rugs we made, the houses we built, the cities we designed, the mosques we made, and everything. We were vocational societies. And we were societies of guilds. The guild was called Sinf. Everything was done by guilds, and the guilds were highly professional. These are things that it's worthy of us to study. Very important for us to study. And these are things that most of us don't know much about, if anything, anymore. But beauty is the splendor of truth. God is beautiful. God loves beauty. Al-Haq is Jamil. And Al-Haq is also Jalil. He is also majestic. And so when you approach God, you become real. And the closer that you approach God, the more real you become. And as you become real by approaching God, then you become beautiful on the inside, right? You become beautiful on the inside. And what do we call that beauty on the inside? Virtue. Virtue. That's what it is. You become a person who has beauty all inside of you. And once you're beautiful on the outside, everything you do will be beautiful. The way you walk will be graceful. The way you talk will be graceful. The way you deal with others will be graceful. Beauty is the splendor of truth. That's that universal routing. And therefore, you cannot have a functional heart when it is not beautiful, and when it is not virtuous, and when it is not sincere about this. That's very, very important. And for this reason also, wrong action, oppressive action, abusive action, these destroy the heart because they don't leave any room in it for the beauty that must be an essential part of it. They get rid of that. And then the heart becomes filled with najasa. Najasa. And this najasa, as you know, is ma'nu. It is of an abstract or moral nature. 
whereas, and we carefully avoid the nijasa that is of a tangible nature, right? None of us would be caught dead, you know, with nijasa on themselves or around them. We can't tolerate that. Then we tolerate nijasa in the heart, like envy, jealousy, rivalry, pettiness, and so forth. So all of that has to go.